Hello everyone and welcome to another match of Roulette Freestyle. This is now a quarterfinal between Fenium and Pujero, which is a rematch from the quarterfinal of Hitman Bingo last week, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely a great match between the two and there's a great co-caster here with me. Hello Joker J. Uh, hello everyone. So this is now definitely a rivalry between the two and uh, also a high prestigious match with uh, this, the winner advancing to the semi-finals and uh, uh, actually guaranteed two more matches because uh, we have third place playoff in this tournament so once you get to the top four then you definitely get two more matches and uh, lots more uh, freestyle action. Yeah, something I do like the third playoffs games, they do add a bit of something, they do add that competitiveness for a uh, third spot. Um, Chongqing coming up first, is there anything you like to see on the map in particular? Um, I feel like, I mean, I'm fine with anything if it somehow makes it uh, Imogen first, because I think we'll see, Ch uh, we'll see Hush first, so I'm not sure if these conditions will be <laughs> any range yeah. thrown. Because they have Sniper Alpha as Researcher and Fire Axe as board member. Yeah, the Fire Axe is a melee, so they do have to be live, so... And the Researcher to the Sky has been so close to Hush with, like, a suit start, or even like a block start even, uh, I would expect to see a sniper rifle come done on done to hush. Like, it was just from thing, of course, you can get a board member while shooting the uh, drone, so I think we, we saw a thing where we get imaging first, I do think we'll see hush first, like we normally do on Chongqing. Yeah, block start and getting the agency pick up on the same floor would be sensible, but PG starts with the board member and starts in uh, uh, the dumpling kitchen. Which is also fair, I guess, because, hmm, I mean, depending on the timings, I'm not sure if he can get a Fire X in time for Hush, and of course it's melee, so at least we have one life kill. Yeah, it's the, I'm checking now, the, we still find you pick up the uh, Fire Axe, I don't know if that's the only one on that map there. Oh, the other uh, staircase has one, but the I one that Fenium picked up will be working very nicely for PJ. it's a very little... Uh, detour and can be actually a nice first kill on the harder kill if he can make it back in time I think around the 115 120 mark yeah but yeah Fanium has harsh knockdown so uh, the research disguise is so close as well so I'm guessing we should see uh, the sniper rifle kill well but he, he can only do the sniper rifle kill once harsh uh, as he is KO'd, um, so we will see a fire axe melee as a board member onto Imogen on the on the side. Um, Pidgey seems to be going for Hush with the fire axe, so it looks like he is. Yeah. On the side, I presume, so. It doesn't pick up the fire axe though, and the timing is running out for the Hush isolation, but I think it's once again just the fact that uh, he wanted to get the board member early on. And yeah. uh, changes into researcher, changes back after the kill, and then he's one kill closer at least. Yeah, because we will have to see a detour on a uh, fame side to go get the disguise. So, you know, Pidgey being able to still get to Hush first, um, uh, even after getting the um, ball in the skies, could actually make that quick on his end. Um, fame does get the kill, however, um, and then again, roughly at the same in game times, so we can slightly compare. Um, yeah, Pidgey going to get a sniper rifle now, it looks like. Yeah. Pidgey's Not satisfied arcade. with something, but... Pero probably his agency pick up choice, because the arcade is a bit further away from this. He stored it in the arcade. Um, I know the Derek's Departments is a pick up, I don't know what one's quicker. It seems like the, uh, the Derek's Departments is the quicker one to get. <laughs> it would be, that was a strange choice by Pidgey Run holstering, I think by accident, his gun. Uh, almost <laughs> ripping him for the most random reason. Yeah. He does. He, he manages to get it though, so that's the most important thing. He does manage to get a slightly longer uh, detail than what we expect. But yeah, Bayum has the fire axe, um, and he's going to get the board member disguise here. I didn't. I was was in Pidgey. Did he shoot any drones now, or was he safe up? Did not see one yet. And 
trying to judge the minimap, I'm not sure either. So I'm not sure about the drone situation. PGV, I get this first kill now, I guess a minute behind uh, Fenium, but of course he has the disguise right here, which Fenium will, ha will have to get. Oh, psycho for Fenium. Oh, no, he's psycho, but he still has some thing. Uh, close combat hurt. He does first snail, so it should be fine, but no, they come around dodging the snail. That's a rip for Fenium. That's a very unlucky for him. Yeah, he did basically everything right. It just If it was a silent KO, then. Everything is concealed, and uh, I mean, he was then a street guard, which I guess I'm not quite sure why he wanted to grab the disguise to use it as a proxy in case the board member is acquired. I'm not, not exactly sure, but it's a big restart for Fenim, and now it's PG's hands. It's in PG's hands. Get at the top of the stairs. Uh, he does have a lot of picks, so he can safely open that door fine. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing if he has a trial, I don't think he does have a trank actually. So, let's just see what he does with uh, Imogen and her guard standing there. Um, Once you enter as board member uh, without the mission story, you are in hostile area, so. She's going back down though, so it could be his target. Of course, there's a medical, so. He's gonna have to... It's a target lockdown and being heard by the guards who will investigate this place. Uh, I'm not sure if he can manage both at the same time. He needs to... Yeah, he, he's going back for the... Oh, the last second drop on the street guard, but Imogen is still in range. Will that be seen? That will be seen by the guards. Oh, it was so lucky. close to such an amazing improvisation but it just couldn't and emoji melee is much trickier than it looks and especially improvising yeah. it like that when Imogen is leaving now I mean if Pidgey managed to pull it off that would have been like one of the most amazing things he doesn't change his stash points so we'll be going back to the arcade again um, again wasting more time um, we see fame over the Derek's apartments which does seem to be quicker um, as I, it's only down what two flights oh yeah two flights of stairs so it's certainly quicker than the arcade, which is what four. Um, so yeah. Yeah, four. So. And it seems like the the hash plus X timing is just a bit too tight. I guess may just yeah. be doable, but I think an early hash KO is something that's almost like a muscle memory to just easily start the run with. So yeah, thing I'm missing to go to what we did last time, uh, shoot a drone, uh, go get the board member. It'd be interesting to see whether or not they shoot all five drones to get uh, Imogen to the top of the stairs. I don't know if that's going to be something we see. Of course, on stairs, it's pretty <laughs> it's hard to get a medic when one on the stairs. Um, hmm. Yeah, is he only going to shoot one? Yeah, he shoots one. So, again, you're going to see Imogen in the same position as, uh, he, as she was for um, Pidgey. And about the same timing I feel like of course second runs are always almost no nah, always marginally quicker. It might just be the reason that he can catch her uh, before she turns away but he won't have much time either. Are you ready to give it a go? Does he have time to get the fire axe possibly? When does Harsh start moving? Well four and if he goes for the uh, oh yeah, I want to add it. I don't think he will have enough time to get hush with the fire axe actually. But you know, if, if you're desperate, it might be something you can go for, you know? It's a good question, um, yeah. Again, it is only down them stairs, but I'm pretty sure the door that you go through does stay locked. Hush does carry on for Pidgey, uh, he doesn't knock out uh, Hush. So. Uh, seems like, yeah, now it's going to be the, the melee, and that's why he wants to. Ooh. Let Hash go. I think there is a s small window. I keep thinking about it. I think that the time wise, it is possible to get not this Fire X, but the other one for Hash. Yeah. But it's like theoretical possibilities versus actually doing it in a match. So it's uh, yeah. perfectly fine here. So he uses a gun to get uh, well, the, the, um, the guard in there away. Um, jumps oh. into the box and gets 
spotted. That's half, man. A nice idea for Pidgey, though. Uh, something that, uh, you know, we wouldn't expect to see. It's a very good idea indeed. Uh... Probably just to stay later, react him, otherwise, it's. Uh, I mean, it's probably a pickable either way, but just so close and uh, so strong. Thank you, uh, for getting the code first time, but you know, he manages to do it a second time, so it's not, <laughs> uh, not that bad. And he has the disguise secured, he has the item nearby, and uh, for now, he needs into his run. You can see Imogen is right in front of him, standing. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, the I guess the tour guide almost became a problem, and I'm not sure if the yeah I think Dominic has already gone in there, so she should yeah. be a problem. Then uh, it's all course. fine. You had the issue with Pidgey. The doors up there were open last time, so the street uh, the street guards up there did hear. The doors this time are shut though for um, Fenium, so you know, it should be a nice uh, still be a, a loud kill from Imogen, but um, no, it should not be heard. It won't be heard through the closed window, but oh, this is a window KO and a stair KO. It's basically the oh. Reaper. Just cannot be done with any method on the stairs. And I'm not sure if, she, if he was on the top of it or... Like, um, you have to double check it, it's just so yeah. annoying. I thought it was on the top of the stairs and you saw Imogen like move up. So like... She's yeah. like floating off the air, so, you know, <laughs> it's very hard from Benny, but yeah, wow, that's... Yeah, I, I, there is a chance, good chance that Finium <laughs> did check it and uh, made extra sure that he's on the same floor as her, but Imogen still uh, warped up, which is just so unfair, and Pidger gets ripped oh, again, beat the Firex in hand. He didn't knock out Mogwai that time, so he tried to get the Firex straight away. He, I think he did go for the slower Firex, you know, you can just jump and down and get it. Um, and I think you have time to even run through the door again, so I don't think it actually had much time on. Um, but, yeah, that's hard on Fenium's side. Um, obviously, he's a player who knows about it. And personally, with these many kills, I'm with someone that goes in the front and just puts, uh, puts the axe right through their skull. Mm. Um, and I think in them situations when you're on the stairs, but if you're not so sure, always go from the front where you know you're safe. Uh, and if she moves, you can probably get her at the bottom of the stairs anyway, but things yeah. like that. It's just so hard to judge if you're at the top of the stairs or not, and in the moment, you're not really thinking about that, you know, so uh, it's, that's hard on the fame side. Yeah, it it's something that is a rare occurrence, of course, for red players. You don't, you aren't forced to do melee, and especially mm, uh, imagine going into target lockdown, you want to get the kill quick before she starts to run, so... It's all a, a very quick situation. We just some troubles with the disguise. Second uh, restart in a row. I think the last yeah, that, time, that. yeah. You uh, sorry. I think the last time just the crouching was the problem for PG. So now if he doesn't uncrouch and waits for the tour guide, it should be fine. As I say, this is what the this melee, the melee kill and like the elimination kills adds so much. Because usually you just kill Imogen, you know, you just kill yeah. her and you just throw it. Or like if if we saw a fame, if you uh you know, punch her on the stairs, she can just throw it at her and be fine. Um, so and that's what I love about these things. It adds them things that you know we wouldn't see in normal red rivals. You know, um, it adds that little spark of like more live kills, and we all love seeing live kills, especially as spectators. So, yep. It's new for everyone, uh, it doesn't matter how many hours you played, so it's a great, great equalizer and maybe a bit frustrating to play as it's been almost 15 minutes without uh, lots of progress here, but uh, great watch so far, great watch in the whole tournament. And um, when we see now, look, we, even on a two tight map, they're both going, the kill conditions are being done on both different targets. You know, we see Pidgey trying to get the fire axe uh, as the board member. He is going to be going for the one on top of the level 5 stairs, which it could maybe be quicker. I don't... I don't guess that fire axe maybe is not a kill I've done. Um, so it'll be something to test off as one is the quicker one to go for. Um, of course, you have to loop all the way back around, so that could be an issue to why... Uh, 
can't get it, and yeah, you do mish hush slightly. Yeah, and these are the couple of seconds you think would be uh, manageable if you went for the other one, but. Peekaboo's harsh though, you get some nice people off, so. Might be a nice save here. I think it depends on the Mogwai lock on and whether it's silent or not. It's going to use another distraction. Uh, a bit late with the throw and uh, no one heard it. Uh, no one in this room. The the researcher has some question mark with it and I think the block guard is coming. If PG looks at the minimap there will be trouble. Oh, ho, 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 he dodged it. Oh. Well, good to know, I guess, <laughs> that yeah, a yeah, throw on a, that wall. That's, that could be a new block this guy's grab there. I, really, I mean, you, could, you can't just go in there and knock them both out respectively, but, you know, if in the moment, it might be a nice little thing to do. Yeah. Oh, and Pidgey just lays with the peekaboo. He, he got the grab on Hush, and that's a gun flash. Target logon instantly went compromised, and I think that will be that will be spreading to Mogwai and Co. Wow. Bane and Bakra are the same spot. No, her guard is right on the stairs, so it's a nice throw. She doesn't hear it, so you does have time to actually go upstairs. And, and yeah, put the From the right front. Through. Yeah, First waiting goal, the extra uh, second. You get what you deserve, Imogen, and uh, Fenium will eventually. <laughs> Basically finishes the mission twice, but only with the required kills once. So after 15 minutes, he gets the first map. Yeah, I mean, well played from both players. Uh, we, we thought it'd be a more quicker spin, especially with the sniper rifle kills the researcher being so close to Hush. But we saw Pidgey go some variation with the kill, you know, trying to get that fire axe melee. But unfortunately, the fire axe was just too far away and he wasn't able to get Hush where he wanted. He tried with the peekaboo, you know, Mogwai and the block guard in the, um, in the, in the like, um, what's it called? Uh, therapy room. Um, you know, probably a bit of an issue. But, you know, I like seeing these different things and it's something we haven't seen in real rivals, which I love about this composition. Yeah, I think it's another nice aspect. Well, nice for us, I think, uh, because the the freestyle aspect allows you to not just replan but rethink the uh, kill orders in your mind, and just results in so many different approaches in the same spin. And uh, yeah, we've seen plenty of that and plenty of restarts, of course. But uh, and those coming up next, which is a bit more straightforward with this start, or will we see something that's uh, not waiter start for once? Yeah, we're talking about Mendoza. Um, we've seen this map three times in this tournament. Pidgey being one of them players to play against Mika. That was one of the two maps he did win in that game. I can't remember the specific spin. But, you know, having already having that played that map and already having that win must already boost your confidence uh, in 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 a new uh, tournament. Um, yeah, it could always it could almost feel like it was a uh, picked map by these two players, but no, all maps are random in this tournament, so. Pidgey you getting a bit lucky with it, I guess. Uh, I'm wondering if Fenium, he did not play Mendoza in round one. No, yes, nice. But I know how much he loved it in Bingo. I think it was his favorite Bingo map, so it might be that more you know, experience. So especially you like, I don't know, with all these like um, lethal, lethal uh, melees being known, you know, I, and I know some of them were collect tiles. So that just that knowledge could actually prove the difference here. Hey, I think he played Mendoza twice and just absolutely. Uh, he beat Pidgey on Mendoza, if I remember correctly, as well, on uh, in Bingo. So he does have a, that one-up on Pidgey in the Providence tournaments on uh, Mendoza. Yeah, good call. And he also picked uh, Mendoza in the final. Definitely a big, yeah. big favorite of his. And that will happen in just under two minutes. This is still first to two and a half points. So three to five maps, or you can consider it as a best of five. And we will see after Mendoza, Mumbai, which is guaranteed, and if we get there, Berlin and Santa Fortuna, so some lo longer ones to finish it off. Yeah, just going from Bingo, he did play uh, Mendoza three times, um, beating Pidgey and Randy, but Kaneda did take uh, Mendoza off of um, Fame, which was his map pick in the game against uh, Kaneda, so you know. Yeah. Not only them, but 
It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a completely different tournament to uh, bingo, you know? We can yeah. look at all these bingo stats, but there is a completely different tournament at the end of the day. And all it takes is one rip from the other player, and if Pidgey, for example, Pidgey's uh, flaws and Fame has one lucky rip, Pidgey takes them out, you know? So... Yeah, this is anyone's map at least, and then of course this longer ones even more so with the more rip opportunities. And we talked about Phenom's experience, and of course beating Pijero, but Pidgey's early enthusiasm about Hitman 3 was all about Mendoza. He's, I think he's still a very big fan of Mendoza, maybe one of his best maps. And uh, of course in Bingo it was a tough competition and Phenom did edge him out in that map, but of course it could be very different in this uh, new format, curious about it. Yeah, I think I'm quite the opposite with Mendoza, it's certainly not one of my, uh, one of my more on the lesser favourite map maps there. But yeah, that's where the personal preference comes in, you know, if you're, and it's the same, like you could have a really favourite map, but it doesn't, if you if it's your favourite map doesn't mean you're good at um, real on it. For example, Miami, I love Miami, but I'm absolutely terrible when it comes to real on it, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and it um, of course depends on how good the general opponent is, like, uh, Miami's generally is quite well optimized chair forward and I think Mendoza is quite similar with the, the, uh, yeah. the approaches and then can you make it quicker, can you optimize it is the big question. Here's the second spin though, can you run it down for us? Yeah, we have Lao Pistol as the lawyer and Sapper's Axe Melee as a you guys. So another um, Lao kill, um, another live kill, a Lao Pistol kill as a lawyer. I know lawyer after what, five minutes he starts giving on a bit of a wonder about mm -hmm. so you know that could prove a bit of an issue. Um, of course, you are out to Isaac one side, but it is a loud kill, so we could even see a snipe onto Samara from the top of the Vida, which would be uh, nice to see. They do lose. Um, there is that starting. If you do that, if you got that kill for tomorrow, you do lose that early isolation onto Don. Yeah, really curious about the approach. Uh, well, it is uh, way to start for Pijero, and he's a big fan of snipes. Will it be a snipe on Tamara this time? It's a good question. And one more melee, uh, one more life can made it into this second spin, that, so that's always good to see. And Finn yeah, was a starting Peter. Yeah, it looks like he's isolation uh, tomorrow. So we should see, hopefully, a pistol snipe uh, as a lawyer um, onto tomorrow from the Villa roof. But you know, so he's got to do the same approach, so we could see uh, both the same kills done on the targets. But not quite the same, because this oh, is no, a double a seeker on Phenium. And I was just going to mention that the Vater ISO does exclude the loud kill for the most part. I think there is a Ducker highlight in the grand final from way back. Uh, loud shotgun kill on Tamara in the bed, in the flower bed. But it generally, it would be done in the uh, bathroom. So it is, seems like Phenium would go for loud pistol lawyer on Tamara. But with the general isolation and especially getting the disguise now, that makes it interesting, but I thought PG would go Loud Pistol, Dawn. Yeah, I mean, well, Sapper's Axe is up in uh, Don's bedroom, so, you know, this uh, isolation onto him, you know, if you go up there to get the uh, Loud Pistol, you might as well go up there to get, get the Sapper Axe as well. Um, I think there are enough things to hide all the bodies, or, yeah, there, there's two, there's a, um, what, a closet and a, um, What's it called? Uh, box. <laughs> yeah. Hide all four bodies in. So yeah, he should Basically. be fine on that end. So you know, the body disguise isn't bodyguard disguise isn't the hardest thing to do, especially where tomorrow is six. So uh, yeah, I mean, it, and the Sapphire is of course legal and not disguise. So so PG two minutes and six seconds into his run. So it's getting quite late for Dom, but not impossibly late. And I think he knows his timings very well. It will be in isolation in this foyer room. With the trank in hand, uh, no, I'm wrong because uh, it seems like Don is still uh, upstairs. Yeah. He has the bodyguard disguise, um, so you know he does have one. Yeah, so he's going to use the other trank, the mercenary, and knock out um, Valentina and get the melee kill. Now, that's one kill down, and he does have uh, tomorrow we down. So all he needs really is the uh, lawyer disguise, and he can come back up here um, and sniper from up there. So. Both approaches are very good and very quick, I'd say. Um, and very different. It's going to be very fascinating to see if he can, who can get it faster. PG has to throw to to make Don stand up for a safer and perhaps silent 
Sephirax melee, but that won't be the case, but it's not hurt by the outside guard. I think that was the big question of this. Yeah, Fame is going to be getting the uh, bodyguards, guys, and with Tamara thrown up next to next to him. We could see the kills happen at roughly the same time, so it could really be a race for the lawyer kill, you know, if, what if it's a 20 second difference? Uh, Fame's <laughs> really slow loan time is going to pay a part in this. Yeah, if it's within 30 seconds, of course, the photo finish will take apart and Fenium will be catching up a bit thanks to his console. Yeah, and that, that is both maps we've seen, uh, both two tight maps, we've seen completely different approaches from both players. Yeah, yeah amazing. Not, it's amazing. And that is despite Sepper's X melee kill, which would really associate with Dawn and still. Yeah. It would be different, but oh, Fenium yeah. gets caught well, in the yeah. barrel, oh, in the Providence layer. Which is big, and that was a detonation for PGI. Don't Which detonator know. did he bring? Maybe was... I, it might have been a, a metic gas, so we can go straight through there as a lawyer. Huh. Which. Okay. That, that's, I mean, that, that'd be my one guess with the eyes. I didn't see it, but you know, knowing a uh, lawyer, how close it is to the Gasho area, um, you can just run through the first point there and run away up. So, yeah, no, it could be. In making both of them sick to allow him to go through this. Yeah, it's an important timing and he's not seen by anyone outside, which gets the disguise and yeah, he he has to be frisked uh, down here and he will be trespassing up there. <laughs> so it's two, two challenges uh, for him to overcome and curious if he will uh, skip either of them. Frisky not allowed, but placing the briefcase will get him through. Yeah, I remember when I was practicing uh, Paris, so I um, actually dropped the briefcase um, instead of placing it down, which would be a pretty bad, bad mistake to make. But yeah, no, he should be getting through this uh, first point pretty well. Maybe with a bit of buffering on my end, I'm not sure about you. Yeah, for me, he completely <laughs> stopped at 25 seconds and only placed yeah, it up same. there. So it could be internal issues. But after all, this PG does not realize or. <laughs> I really need to yeah. see that uh, device being thrown or, or what happened there because I, I thought he would uh, counter the fact that he cannot get through there and, and I really didn't know that what was the throw for and it was n next to doors mercenaries yeah so bring him back on the front foot no um, tomorrow is coming down so we should get no, he won't get the kill right here, but you know, uh, he needs, of course, to get the bodyguard sky. So, <laughs> he gets the bodyguard sky tomorrow. Walks in there, so it's pretty nice timing um, on both of their ends. Yeah, I didn't see the fame timing last time around, but I think it's safe to say it's another bit yeah. quicker. And of course, no other bodyguard oh, to find it, but well, <laughs> Tamar is going to the wrong stall, and we'll see that body. Is it salvageable? I oh, know, definitely indeed it's salvageable. We just need to zap the zaps. Checking for yeah, checking if he's alright, so that should be the kill. Of course, red guns from Don, um, so that's why he um, never got the green guns back. Um, yeah, um, nice bit of improv there from Fame. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's consistent, but of course, if she being the only one, it's reasonable that uh, she checks out the body first and then starts panicking if he or if she went into lockdown first for some reason, then it would have been really hard to salvage. But nice first kill and as mercenary, he would go to the lawyer now, I presume. Yeah, I mean, Pidgey is now isolating tomorrow um, in this little area here with the bodyguard guys as well, so we can go straight up and kill Don. Um, which, oh, which he's done uh, before uh, in his last one, um, I'm pretty sure. So, um, you know, it's working nice for the both of them. You know, they're both getting one target down quickly and having, you know, the kills on the diff both different targets at roughly the, the same time. Um, yeah, really nice improvisation by, uh, really nice improvement by Fiji, sorry, uh, yeah. with that and his 20 seconds quicker, although uh, Don has. Um, skipped part of the conversation, or PG did not trigger it this time around, so 
it will be a KO from behind and might be a last ditch effort to get someone reacted. Only Don does, so that should be a very good corner yeah. do and the melee kill even. <laughs> Can't yeah, corner do okay. life. Yeah. That's yeah, brilliant. You don't want to do the melee kill. Would be my instinct to, <laughs> to isolate Don like this, but of course for now the kill is... Uh, you have to make it this way and it's a very nice first kill and... It's allowed kill for tomorrow and it's not a... Uh, is Spain looking for the lawyer? And that would be likely. Because that's the last thing he's missing unless... Uh, yeah. Loud pistol, but I think he staged it in his first run. I don't exactly know the lawyer match. I don't think he moves like five minutes. So he should still be where he usually is. Unless he wasn't and I've completely missed it. Uh, but yeah, if you've lost it, yeah, you can be a pretty hard, um, pretty hard disguise to find afterwards. Uh... But on the minimap, I saw movement, I saw the briefcase move, and that shouldn't really be the the guard moving inside. I think now the lawyer is in that little circle where PJ got it at four and a half minutes. He just didn't see or didn't go there. Of course, you have three pixels on minimap, but I'm fairly sure that the lawyer was there. Yeah, if, uh, Pidgey uh, did get him around similar time, so it would have made sense for him to still be there. Uh, if anything, now he'll be on the move around this time, I'm pretty sure, is when he yeah, starts moving around, so... Yeah, if if you can turn around the right people, it's also good to isolate in these bushes. Uh, foliage doesn't always work in Mendoza or... Well, in the flower beds they don't. I'm not sure about the lavender field here. Not not many not many not many things work in this map. It's <laughs> a good point. Yeah, so there he is. Sorry. So if he's found a lot. He does have a snail. Um, so I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's just snail into uh, lavender area or what. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't uh, that won't be hurt by a gaucho, but otherwise it should be a nice grab and then go for dawn. And Peach is too early for <laughs> the lawyer. He cannot get the push just yet and. He had these options of the sedation or the accident KO, but opts for the calmer. Yeah, he does have tomorrow isolated in a nice area to uh, just uh, kill and uh, hide her body. So, yeah, fame as well has done Don in a nice area as well. So, um, just waiting for the lawyers to get past this point. Um. Yeah. Wow, I mean, Pidgey still needs to do some dragging, because I think he would do the kill next to these uh, uh, closets next to the ice machine. Yeah. And Fenium is a bit better set up there, but cannot get the disguise, so maybe Pidgey will be the first to get there. But Diana is coming through with his guard. Oh my god, what a timing. Really, because he has... Oh, I was about to say body found. Um, yeah, it's just the uh, tranked mercenary um, on Don's stairs. Uh. This is really sketchy, and if the tranked mercenary is found, I'm not sure about the other bodies lying around for PG, but I think he's fine in the mansion. Uh, yeah, because I think he, he, uh, threw, uh, he did a photo stretch on Don to get him up, and then of course he um, lured up one mercenary. Uh, he obviously hit Don's body, then uh, tranked one of the mercenaries to get a disguise. As far as I don't think he not that, um, only one tie, and of course that was with the trank, so he should be fine on that end. Um. Via Fenium, <laughs> okay, Fenium, via Fenium talk to the... Because Fenium can have the car exit, which is close as well, but he has a lot of yeah. boys to hide. That's the thing. That he has all these boys on top that he has to go and hide. PG Vigo Tango, if... Uh... Or even car exit. No, I think a lawyer will be trespassing, so we won't risk it. It will be Tango if no one runs in here. And he can make uh, Diana uh, teleport. Hide the gun. Pidgey's out. Uh, there are a couple of infills around, but should be able to quickly dodge him. Fane should be dragging into the bathroom, so this could be close to him. Fane's really dodgy load times. Um, this could... Oh yeah, it's just shooting from the attic. Okay, that's nice from... 
thing inside. That appears you're going to be escaping car. Ooh, and uh, it depends on how it's much depends on how much uh, Ferium uh, delay we got with the buffers. Yeah. I did refresh, so I th oh, he's not getting the kill. It might just be over thirty seconds then. If it's twelve, if it's twelve from now, because that's mandatory Mendoza. It oh, it might be on either side of thirty seconds. But I know you just have to be careful with fashion blown times, uh, PS4 blown times. From personal experience with I played, unfortunately, I think I'm too for a little bit on PS4, player search for it was dodgy. So I just want to see from Chris what he has to say from here. Of course, he'd be the match admin, he does decide whether or not it'll be a fair finish or not. Yeah, really curious about this one. Uh, <laughs> this did feel uh, high 20 seconds or low 30s. I really couldn't tell if it's in the window or not. And I think it would be two or three restarts apart. I'm not sure if it's their second try or f third one. And of course, we have to talk about stream delay here. And we saw we had a bit of delay on Fame's side. Um, we had that long buffer. So, you know, Pidgey could we could have seen Pidgey exit and like he could have pressed done straight away, but Fame could press pressed done 10 seconds before we see him exit, you know. Um, which obviously would like put him almost like 10 seconds behind Pidgey for us, um, which can be a bit of a. Effect. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, Chris is <laughs> annoyed that the done button was being pressed a lot of times and well in that case uh, we have to be talking about crudy what counts as <laughs> loading times or pressing downs. Yeah. Hopefully he got the the pure <laughs> finishing times he can work with. I'm pretty sure for my game I pressed it twice, I just pretty just panicked and just like, <laughs> oh, bitch, I remember I remember myself with it twice, so you know, it's, it's a double mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really tell, I, I think. Oh, it's Pidgey's pressed done 23 seconds earlier. Ooh. Um, I know Fame has some dodgy loading times if he doesn't preload. I didn't see him preload, so, you know, this could actually be closer than we thought. Um, and this is the second first finish of the tournament. Um, uh, the previous one happened in my game versus Life, um, which was closer than what I thought would be, especially me on console and him, him being on PC. So. Oof. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that's, and it was Blight with the more loading times, right? Because that's a tendency of his, uh, it's a very funny one. Even... Yeah, I remember, I think it was, he had two loading times at a time of like 24 seconds, I had two loading times with a, with a time of 16 seconds. Um, it was like, I, I only won by like 8 seconds, you know, so. Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, Nice exception that the PC player has the more loading time and have to worry about the photo finish that way. I th obviously here it's uh, the usual case where PG had much less of it. And uh, the question is if it's uh, 20, within 23 seconds or not. I'll uh, try to recap how many play how many times they restart. I think Pidgey restarted three times and Fame reset twice, I think. So I really can't tell. It it's two or three for both of them, but if it's three for Fanium and two for PG, it's really likely Fanium's. If it's two for Fanium, three for PG, then it's probably not uh, turning around, but oh so hard to tell. Yeah, so Fenium reset uh, reset once, so oh yeah, PGA reset once as well, so <laughs> this could actually be very close uh, indeed. Yeah, we had one big restart, but I just have the feeling that there were some quicker ones. Although, there's not a lot you can rip on at the beginning of the run, and Fenium's close call with Tamara finding the body was also safe, so it's not like people have been ripping on anything. Yeah, and again, it's that different approach that we, that we saw in Shang Tsung. You know, we saw Fanyum do that after someone killed Don, um, but we saw Pidgey do that on tomorrow. So you know, so even on these two type maps, it has so much variation, and it really does highlight the, the players' thought process of what they what they see and what they associate with each target. Yeah, such a so. such tough task to optimize these. Uh, not just to find the right order between the targets, but find the right conditions for them and. Uh, I think the expectation was it that it uh, makes the three plus target maps uh, 
much more approachable, yeah. but it, it makes uh, such a puzzle for, for these two targets maps as well. It's like, like Marrakesh, for example. I always said to myself that, you know, if you have a live kill, do it on, a, uh, on Razor. <laughs> you know, but in my game, I had a loud pistol in nation, which I was going to try and uh, do on um, Razor, but I never got around to it because I was just too slow on clouds. <laughs> and so. Yeah, it's just it's just like things that the player associate with each target. You know where the skies are. You just kind of have a kill condition that's going on target. But if the the skies on the on the opposite side of the map, where you know the the, the target's close to, you might just then swap it pretty based on you. Yeah, I'm going to travel far with the disguise. Yeah, <laughs> so many things can happen with these spins, and uh, some of the time we've seen uh, obvious ones like uh, which target you want to go for in which case, but in most other cases. Thank you, PG. I think some music, uh, maybe not. But yeah, it's uh, very spin dependent and most of them have been pretty good so far. If we, if we have any music, we can also um, put Fanium singing back on. <laughs> um, I did change it to Fanium talking. I'm not sure if it's better or worse. I mean, <laughs> I always like to hear the thought process and Fanium is a big talker. Well, Finium has got one hour, <laughs> he says, so if uh, PG were to take this and uh, we're going into Mumbai, Santa, Berlin, could be difficult. Could be difficult to finish in one hour. I mean, what what map do we have coming up? I think, yeah, we have Mumbai, Berlin, Santa Fortuna. So we have, crazy, uh, we have yeah. the big five map coming up. So, uh, you know, this could be, you know, especially with the freestyle, you know, we could see uh, what, like six minute spins on the maps, for example, you know, um, so. This could be a long one in terms of five maps and in terms of long spin times. But really competitive two maps it have been so far, and uh, I guess it's still technically possible for it this to finish as a Fenium sweep like it was in yeah. Bingo, but it is just so much closer this time. Well, we, we, we are going to Mumbai next, and that was a map that Pidgeot has played and did draw. I'm pretty sure that was because they ran out of time, wasn't it? Yep. Um, him and Mika, yeah, he ran out of uh, time, so <laughs> with that track record uh, on that from Pidgey, you know, we could be, I mean, hopefully even for a long map, I'd say, enjoy the longer, more tricky maps to watch. Um, you know, I, Mumbai, I didn't have a good experience on Mumbai, uh, mistaken an SMG of an AR, was <laughs> uh, one of the <laughs> things I've, I've done, uh, so. It's hard to mess up, and the pace was so high. I think Joe Blight was still ahead on this at that run, so it's. Uh... Yeah, because I, I remember I, tried, I literally had never done the proper Darwood isolation before. <laughs> so like, I tried to do it, and then I had Darwood running off to the security room like two thugs, and I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lots of Mumbai adventures or experiences so far, and it's been three of them only. Uh, yeah, you, you, you guys had the, the triple guards spin, which was really convenient, really fast, of course. Uh, and yeah, Blythe taking it in 8 minutes or so. What was it? It was... I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> it was Loud AR as the Queen's Guard, I think. And then it was like a Pistol Nation as the Queen's, uh, the other... The, the grey disguise, actually I can never remember the, never remember the name of and then it was uh, Barbara Razor as the Bollywood bodyguard yeah so there's the regular guard and the bodyguard is the golden one yeah that's it um, so yeah we are, that, that's definitely like one of the shorter Mumbai spins but you, you, know, you could definitely easily have a longer uh, Mumbai spin yeah I think what it did to Mumbai spins is Probably made uh, Sky, uh, yeah, Skywalk much more easier because you aren't forced to do live or maelstrom. It's very unlikely that you get three live kills, and uh, you can probably do the easiest one on him, and then just brick for the other two, especially Vanya. Uh, unless it's loud, it's probably a formality, even without loadout. Well, <laughs> if I, besides the bombs, which uh, have been using troubles. 
you know, I, I nearly made a mistake my guitar. I, I think I knocked out Rima last as well, as well. so there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Going back to Mumbai, I definitely think, you know, you associate the live kills with Vanya, you know, because she's so open, you can, mm -hmm. she's in there, she doesn't get found. You can do the light, uh, the loud kills on the Maelstrom, you know, you can do that thing through the window. Um, I personally never get found. I think you, you can get found sometimes. Yeah, in my experience, there have been bodies found there, uh, but see, just, of course, no one has done the extensive testing, but... What I do there is uh, keep bumping into the maelstrom and just lure him to the other side. There is another body dump which is just never seen by the by anyone and just shoot and hide. But it's yeah. probably personal preference if it's like, of course it's 90 plus percent to, uh, to keep the maelstrom, it's fine. Uh, I remember seeing TK do it, uh, Adam TK do it, and like uh, some Diamond R. I said, "Oh my, that's so cool! I'm doing that whenever I play Mumbai now." <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> we have results and crazy results as well. Fenium loaded for 45 seconds oh, across two loads, okay. and that is so, 30 more than PG. So, so Fenium is by seven seconds. Wow! Someone give Fenium a PS5, man. <laughs> that's incredible. Wow. Yeah, I thought it would be close for low, low 20, I <laughs> I thought if it's within 30 seconds the film has all his chance, but wow, 30 second margin and a 2-0 two, two, lead for Phenium. So yeah, so. we do have them by next, and this is going to be... Um, Well, we can have a lot of different uh, Mumbai's here, but uh, yeah, Pidgey's, his back is against the wall, he needs to take three maps in a row. Yeah, but you can you know, if you're uh, a new nil, you have to just win three maps, you know, they're still there, you just, you just don't lose from this one. Absolutely. Fine. Yeah, and uh, there have been restarts uh, by both players on both maps, so if Pidgey was just, were to just uh, first try the remaining three, um, he's absolutely in there. But of course, if Fedium really has to go in an hour, uh, <laughs> he can also make that happen with a 3 or a 3 1. Of course, this being first 2.5, you know, Pidgey has to win this map. Mm -hmm. no, if he draws, Fedium gets half point, Fedium wins. So, you know, Pidgey has to win this map, so there's definitely that added pressure onto Fidgey. Yeah, yeah, and uh, if it gets late, uh, like the last 15 minutes, it will be a really unique situation of Pidgey needing to get that win. He can't hope for a tie. Everything uh, in on his mind is to just finish within 45 minutes. But of course, it may not get there, and I think uh, today's two maps were a great indication that we might see quicker finishes here. Yeah, of course, with uh, you know, we see uh, Pidgey on average 7.5 seconds own time, then Fanium on average, what, 27, uh, uh, 22.5 even, you know, that's 15 seconds <laughs> Pidgey loads with Fanium, you know, which could actually yeah. prove the difference, especially with that 30 second limit. Like if Pidge, if if they have three rips the, between them, if Pidgey can just finish, you know, he, he should be in the clear, uh, especially with them lo long alone times. Yeah, it's it's so funny. It's this actual thirty second uh, margin. We need some exceptions for Thanium <laughs> in these tournaments. Yeah, um, but you know he does. He's a he's a good player, so we might need to nerf him in all the ways we can. I have to give him a PS3 plan soon to give him even out of the times. Yeah, anything to get him out of photo finish range because once he's in there, he he can take advantage of that. Yeah. But really, well played so far, of course. Uh, Is there it's... anything you want to see on uh, on the on Mumbai? Oh, never mind. Just the spin has come. Oh, wait. It is time. Uh, it's gone past. Oh, yeah, past the hour. So we should see the spin. Soon. Yeah, any second now. Uh, we'll talk about it next time. What we yeah. have. Uh, Another melee, this time Zaber as uh, Queen's bodyguard, and then we have Throne folding knife as Vanya's servant, and wow, another trainer in disguise, Queen's guard with silence they are. I mean, uh, you have to go for the folding knife, the folding knife, you have to go to the chills, 
uh, the save you have to go into the power if I remember correctly. Silence so rifle you do have to bring in. There's no way so I don't think there's any silent rifles on the map, is there? Silence no. I learned. Yeah, so yeah, so silent so rifles in my game. Don't get mixed up with an SMG. Um, so yeah, we should see. They can go all over the map here. You know, uh, the melee kill as the Queen's bodyguard. Uh, I expect to be done on Vanya. Talk about live kills, you know. Uh, and then of course the phone. But I mean, you could see a Darwood potentially it being that close to him, possibly. So yeah, there's definitely that variation that we've seen all game on Mendoza and Chongqing, which could actually, with the three to highs, there's more chance of that variation between the players, which I'm guessing we would see here. There really definitely lots of variation. I'm just keep thinking about the the saber melee, which is of course live kill and for Vanya uh, usually, but the fact that uh, Queen's bodyguard you don't really get it before. Oh, you could actually get the disguise before Vanya. Of course, after you KO the two bodyguards, you change the disguise and then get Vanya. Okay, so <laughs> even that is a possibility. Yeah. But yeah, ideally, both, both disguises from outside, right there. <laughs> Film is just through the. Uh, yeah. Curtains or what? Yeah, I, I was gonna say, but, but the, the melee kill does make it live. You know, like you could do it on Darwood, but you, most of the time you won't be in the Queen's bodyguard. If you do the brick lure, you have to go back up to the bottom. Um, Save him by the time he gets back down, he's probably gonna be by the boat hut. You know, so if you do the brick lure, you might lose that potential possibility. So you know, it's gonna be interesting, especially with everything being on like all over the map and stuff. It's gonna be very good to see. Hmm. Well, Pidgey taking is taking the matters in his own hands and just going for, uh, like against Mika, uh, his alternative approach uh, of not doing Skywalk. And curious if it, it will be first try only or just, uh, or he keeps with this one. KG raised the, uh, Chris even raised a good point with the free Queen's Guard. You could start Skywalk, knock out Maelstrom and go straight to the Queen's Guard. If you bought the Assault Rifle in your briefcase, you, know, you could get the, you could get that kill sorted straight away. Yep. And uh, then, you know, get the saber possibly, and you know, do the brick lure, do the kill onto Vanya, get the folding knife, which you've got, which Fabian's already got from the jewels. Um, so if you got the Fabian, saber now, you could then go straight to the brick lure and done that and get um, both kills nicely. Yeah, it seems very straightforward, except for the detour for the melee items. And it being a melee as well, do you do, do you get the weapon first before going, you know, to the uh, the uh, kills or, you know, or do you let um, Darwood or Vanya get to the boat hut or what? It looks like Fanyan was going to be getting the saber. Yeah, we just passing the skies though, but uh, probably not a lot of action here because you can get to the tower easily and then from then it's... I mean, you do need a skies for that room, uh, preferably yeah, only a Bollywood bodyguard would be good for carrying one. Yeah, but you could get that from the painting room, you know, you could just come out the window and knock out the two people in there and you should be home, home and dry ready to carry that saber to, to wherever you need it, um, which would probably be to where you um, isolate Vanya, you know, knock out the Queen's bodyguards, get their disguise and kill her. Obviously, you have knock out Lima as well. Wow, just so, so good spins today, uh, all these different approaches are viable, and uh, so we have seen, <laughs> okay, there's two KOs on the same person for PG, but uh, we have seen one restart from PG so far, he was carrying the uh, the other Vanya servant uh, next to the T serving station, and that was seen, so the re as a result PG is now two minutes behind, but with these different approaches, of course it's really hard to tell which would be quicker. I mean, he left the seven skies uh, by there as well, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, he, because he actually the folding knife kill onto Vanya's servant, uh, then potentially him being the Queen's Guard of Skies, he might go and do the assault rifle kill onto Dawood, get the saber from there, and potentially because he may kill onto the uh, Maelstrom, <laughs> you know, which I don't even thought we'd see, but well, I would love, personally, I would love to see it. <laughs> um, but he does get the bloody ass guys, which I don't know if that indicates anything, but... Yeah, that, that would sound really good in, in theory. I, I would absolutely have no idea where the Maelstrom would be at uh, whenever PG wants, but of course it's 
probably related to the the flag and they're just waiting there a bit or optimizing a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Where to go after the flag? I don't know. I don't know how long he stays there for. I'm not much of a. I'm more of a just isolate a maelstrom straight off Skywalker. Yeah, I don't know what his cycle, but if the flag is raised manually or automatically at around two minutes, then. Yeah, exactly. Screw this says uh, he would be at the hideout at around eight minutes. Uh, right before that, you get another falling object approach with the, the boat. But uh, that's about it. He stays on a hill a bit more, but not known really what, uh, what really does he there. So, Phenim has transported the saber for a long time and uh, Oh, he's looking for this Vanya servant. Uh, a nice innovative approach. I think or at least saw it once, and I'm not even sure by whom. Place a snare for him, so it oh, will be yeah. a sedative. And oh, the tailor is coming, or one of his partners. Uh, to actually be might be just too close. too late. It will be risky, I think. Could get it. And seen by the thug yeah. from downstairs. Now that was an unexpected for Fenim, and I guess for us as well. Oh. Yeah, he tried to. Yeah, he was looking for the guy inside, but it was a bit too much on the outside for the thug. That's big though, PG. Now almost four minutes in the lead, and uh, Vanya down with. Uh, uh, which one was it? It was the seventh AR, right? It couldn't have been a melee. It was the seventh AR uh, in the seventh sky, so suggesting that he will do the folding knife kill next would be my one guess. So, but I don't know, again, I don't know who actually be on that. I would guess would possibly be the Melstrom. But, yeah. It really feels 50 50, and I'm not sure if uh, Fiji is expecting uh, an isolation or. I mean, he did grab a brick, so it might just be a brick lord for one target. Yeah, yes. of course, that is always durable, unviable. Um, gets a phone knife, which was one of the things in Pidgey's last. Um, and by spin, if I remember correctly, it was phone knife as the holy man, wasn't it? I think from his game. Oh, it was. I <laughs> I casted it for forty-five minutes. I don't remember, but <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Yeah, because I remember, I think it was Mika or Pidgey, could have been either, that did get spotted was taking there... it, uh, on their first run, so that definitely sparked my memory a little bit. There was the Kashmiri and there was the letter opener. Yeah, it could, could be the uh, 40 knife as well. Fenium, uh, also with the distraction, was uh, getting the the knife. As PJ is approaching the hill, and of course the maelstrom. Yeah, let's I gotta do the phone knife here once. Uh, the maelstrom. So with this, with a um, saber being so close, you know, we possibly could see a paint. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, because you do go in the tower for the um. What's it? The saber. So, you know, we could actually see. And of course, it is very close to the paint room, anyways. Uh, so, possibly seeing uh, that done for Darwich. He does get the throne kill onto the uh, Maelstrom. And so, uh, only one more kill left for Pidgey. Fainting with a bit of buffering for me. I'm not sure if that's the same for you. Same for me as well. Yeah, the round 154. You know, I'll give him a quick. Yeah, I think if we both refresh, we catch up a lot and then uh, we'll see the end of the... Yep, he went from Beach House to Barge, so he's okay. looking for probably the Saber once again. But this is a kind of drag which would work for a David Isolation later on if using the brick yeah. he would uh, KO all these guards here. And I think it's a really point you mentioned about the Paint Allure uh, with just the Saber remaining. It, it would be one of the viable approaches for that. I, I I just think going inside the tower, you're there anyways. 
you know, so of course you'll probably be getting one of the, one of the skulls from that room to actually pick up the saber in the first place. Um, so. Yeah, it's really just counterintuitive to <laughs> get the saber and then just get back to the beach house and probably wait out there. So it's, and and Peach is really comfortable with the tower. Uh, not sure if he likes top floor or painter eyes so best, but I think he practiced both of them. So he'll see which one is quicker or better. Oh, cause I am just purely forgetting the, the uh, Daru does have that phone call on the floor above actually, so that is always viable as well. So uh, there's like three things you can do. Uh, Fayan has the saber and is coming out of the tower. Um, yeah, and for Pidgeot. Uh, the not too difficult infiltration with one coin, turning those two around, and from then it's quite easy to get to the elevator. Gets up another brick which won't be used indeed in this run. I'm not sure if sub 10 is on the cards, but uh, it is promising for PG and it's, it's quite close now. Much closer than Fadium, obviously. It won't be within 30 seconds if both of them are finishing their runs. Yeah, a, a rip, what, eight, nearly nine minutes in would be heartbreaking. Uh, yeah. On Pidgey. Um, Pidgey. I'm going to do another coin shot. Oh no, this guard comes on here as I am crazy. Okay. Yeah, as you get caught some dew off. Um, yeah, you can hopefully. nicely place it, the guard there. He shouldn't fall. I think he. <laughs> as in the past or in some cases but it's a very specific yeah. animation which we work out you don't want him to fall there um, mm. it wouldn't be there from the fall so this is the same though. and yeah. this guy's up there as well so you know he is actually pretty close this just needs to sort of where you get Daru uh, by himself as well um, yeah and Daru just leaving his spot up here i'm really curious i mean i think it's i think it's painter painter is quicker yeah, better and just less than pieces yeah. he's really debating himself <laughs> very difficult call indeed nine minutes in almost ten it's going to the bottom Huh. Did he change his mind and go for brick instead? Yeah. Uh, I think he's just decided you know, he's more comfortable to do the brick law. I think he has a snail on him. Um, so yeah. I think it's just Crudy who's put in the chat a Mumbai about brick law impossible where I think he has to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we can, all, we can all blame Crudy for this. I, I, feel, I feel like. Yeah, being disappointed in the lack of brick law. Uh, Crudy managed to DM PG about it and ask for one and uh, of course who can say no to the tournament creator. So we will be seeing a brick lore and a delay is finished by about uh, three minutes even, at least two. And if you if we give him three more minutes, I mean, it's still it's Vanya. Him to catch up. Um, of course he has to kill on the Maelstrom. I can't remember what it was. I think it was the folding knife kill, you know? So... He doesn't have the saber either, so you know that could actually add more time. We saw Pidgey took him a bit to actually get that saber and get out of the uh, thing. Yeah, without saber, doesn't really seem that viable, but it's the potential. It could get close, just not 30 seconds close. And he has the AR there as well, so it seems like he will get the stance AR kill. But you know, we could actually see them fail him, get the saber, and get the kill inside of the uh, tower. Uh, concentration what Pidgey did. Um oh, but yeah, he's done the clock so I can't actually, actually so yeah. Scrap that idea. Um hmm, Pidgey transporting disguises wants to be non trespassing for as long as he can perhaps. Of course he has some time yeah. to kill but really important to get this one right. I just I just think he wants to get all the guards uh, the, all the um Bodyguard is down on the barge, so we can get the kill as quick as he can. Um. 
yeah, probably bump the trio and uh, <laughs> hope that Dao doesn't scream uh, loud enough for the others to hear it. There are two enforcers here, so can't exactly bump all of them, but he has the transport the skies <laughs> across as well. Yeah, he's going to use the crowbar and it could result in uh, ragdolling into the water, but I think two down, three down, it won't be difficult. And PG placing the coin nicely, nicely gets the melee kill, which is his last one. Gets one more coin back, both coins back, which will give him the exit right here with the food vendor taxi driver. Which is out. You are. Yeah, well, you, you are ahead of me. I was, I was, uh, I'm behind you on your stream, actually, so I've, I've managed to miss all that. Um, so yeah, Pidgey's out. Um, totally didn't miss all that. Um, so yeah, well, yeah GG Pidgey, I missed completing the kill. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he gets the same kill on, on your end. You gave him one yeah, last refresh really on the barge. Yeah. I think. I... Although. Yeah, I'll have the uh, exit screen. He's on the uh, score screen now. So I've, I've caught up. Uh, I think I was a solid 30 seconds at least behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but let's. So of course, it's still a lot to see cover, here, and it covers the kill. So you know, with his loan times as well, uh, I think he reset one more time the PG. Uh, but no, the thirty really seconds good. just went by. I think uh, Chris was extra careful. That it feels really furious about this one. If he had the coins, he would have exited with the uh, taxi, and uh, yeah. would have had another photo finish. I mean, he knocked out the food and reserve not so he could have shot the pot with the coin in it, so he could have potentially... No, oh, no, but he knocked out the taxi driver, actually, so I think, at least, so I think it's reliable. Yeah, so rare, though, to to lose the map on the taxi, and it's not as simple for Ferium as well, but it would have made a lot of difference. Yeah, and now on to Berlin. I know uh, Fanyan personally tells me about all the time how he can teach me Berlin. Uh, he seems to be a Berlin expert in his own eyes, uh, obviously. He is um, good at it. Um, I don't know how many times he's played in this tournament. I know I played it. I think that's the only time we've seen Berlin so far. Um, is the map where this original idea came from. Um, of course, there is that added difficulty. You can't actually see the picture of the weapons in the disguise. It's which <laughs> does add that little bit of... Uh, Challenge. I know we've seen it. Um, PG has lost to Mika on Berlin. Yep. It was a oh. nice opening uh, map of that match and uh, giving Mika the lead. I think it was a faster PG strat uh, losing in the second half and Mika getting his slower run uh, with one less restart or perhaps zero restart. So it's a usual tale of roulette. Uh, Giving him the first point, and this is redemption time for PG on this map 4. I really have to apologize, but I really need to go for 30 seconds. Uh, I, can, uh, I think I can talk for that long. Um, so, yeah, PG obviously uh, already playing on um, Berlin, losing it. Um, Mika, if someone can quickly remind me this, but I can't actually remember from my head. Um, B, I know, I know Fame is a big fan of, um, the map itself. Let's go look at the stats in terms of real rivals. Um, Fanium having played Berlin, uh, Fame has played Berlin three times, from like twice, so it has a 66% win rate, um, on this map, uh, of course. Pidgeot, let me just bring up Pidgeot as well real quick to see what his uh, performance is on said map of Berlin, yeah. He has played it six times, won twice, drawn once, lost three times, he has a win rate of 41.7%, if we put that into terms of just winning, uh, it's 33.3%, so if anyone does not have that edge in terms of more wins on it, um, yeah, PG, we haven't lost this map, but you know, we saw we saw him, you know, draw Mumbai, but he looked very comfortable on the map, so you know, we could see PG settling in now and actually like, you know, putting a bit of a comeback on uh on Fame here, you know. If if he plays flawlessly and Fame has one rip, you know, but it could give PG the map. Um 
it can change very quickly, uh, especially in these quick, um, um, quick tournaments and you know, quick, or oh, what we see generally quicker maps, especially in this tournament compared to Roulette Rivals. Um, so yeah, you can never count anyone out uh, in in tournaments like these. Um, you know, so yeah, it's very doable for Pidgey. The, I mean, come back, you know, Fame could have just blasted the two of the match, but you know, absolutely fouled on the last three. You see Pidgey not be as comfortable in the first two maps, but be very comfortable in the final three and take them final three. Um, so yeah, if Pidgey potentially could have just said, you know, it's nil nil after just winning three nil, and all I thought Pidgey has to do was win three nil. Uh, he has managed to take one of the maps, and you know, it's only Berlin Santa Fortuna that he has to take. But I know Fame indeed is very comfortable in Berlin. Uh, Santa Fortuna was again was one of his more favourited maps. Um, in Vingo, um, here we are the spin. If Fonz will join, so, uh, join back, so, um, I'll take it. Agent 1 is Scrap, school, uh, scrap Sword, <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister for me there. Scrap Sword, any as the club crew. Execution as the club security. Screwdriver, any as the Florida man. Fire Axe, any again as the DJ. And now I start rifle as the dealer. Um, I, I'm here, I'm here. I'm <laughs> just, okay. you, you can take a bit of time. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't join back, but I appreciated the, uh, the monologue very much. Uh, yeah, you said really well. Uh, PG needs a reverse sweep on the three longest maps, but it, there is just so much variation uh, in this uh, tournament that it might just be possible. And he's one map down, two to go, and it's a very any heavy Berlin. It's almost a, basically a, a regular Berlin spin with this. Um, curious to see. But, I'm not much of an expert, but it, it could be Ralph Law. I, I, I'm not much of an expert. We see PG starting DJ. Um, but, you know, the Florida man. Um, could potentially be a bit off put for that, uh, for that um, specific, specific strat. I'm not sure what Fame has done, but uh, where started even, uh, possibly Bar. Oh, yeah, it's both sides DJ. Um, so I don't know what they're going to go for. Um. So five downstairs disguises. Uh, screw that, your fire X close enough. I think the kill methods aren't obviously great for Rolf, but it would be a safe and solid. 9-10 mini strat, which is probably far beaten by regular strat, but I think it's tempting yeah. tempting to go off here. I mean, you, you get the DJ, uh, DJ from start, you get the club security from Mon Mon Montgomery, uh, Florida Man, uh, can prove a bit challenging, a uh, dealer. Uh, all, all I know is you have to find him in, you can just follow him, can't you, knock him out in a specific spot. Um, club crew is the one that's a bit out of the way, but you know, you could always get that from. Um, from a kill on to Thames, uh, pretty sure was it? Yeah, and Thames will bring it down for the roll floor, so it will be in the room as well. So, it, so no yeah. disguises will be uh, required if you do roll, but Scrap Sword upstairs, allow they are in the biker area, but it can be your agency pickup. Actually, electrocution can be done with that screwdriver, and the Fire X is uh, well, PG bringing it down from here, and that's a really strong peekaboo, which uh, which is not even a peekaboo because the DJ is not trespassing, so it's a lucky call for him. And we'll be getting the KO on the partner of Montgomery and then the kill on himself. That will be the first kill of this Berlin as Fene was getting these uh, agents inside. Of course, it being any, you know, it doesn't have to be a live kill or, or a foreign kill, you can just do it in whatever manner you want. And um, yeah, there's Thames, so there is the club crew disguise. Um, I was uh, talking about. And I think it's... Out these security, so we should see the execution kill be done in here. Yeah, execution very nice done in here. Uh, and the adjacent room, the boiler room, has the agency pickup. It's, I mean, it's the outstanding, the one exception with the kill methods. It has to be the level they are if you want to make it quicker. You don't want to go to the top two floors of the biker compound to get one. Uh, I mean, I know it's been two minutes ago, but I really liked how PG waited oh. for Chamberlain to, to bring, uh, to, to, for him to get out and with a lure, he brought it next to the DJs as Phenium gets ripped. I think that was, I can't remember whose guy it was, but they walked in there and yeah, unfortunately all of them dead, but <laughs> unconscious body lying around. Here's a rip from Phenium's side. PG does have two kills down. Um, hasn't done the roll floor, so it doesn't have any avatar, it's isolated, but, you know, of course you have green on the roof, which is pretty simple to isolate, you want to do the banner lures, get him up there, so there are obviously some more obvious hikes, you could even go to Thames for the Club of Cruise guys if you want to um, get that that way. Um, yeah, it's good that it's uh, 
it's any for all that uh, you have the, all these approaches. PGVD, <laughs> great challenge of acquiring the the dealer, but he opts for the Florida man. I think that was a last minute change. Uh, the Florida man reporting the weapon will be different for later. That's a oh my god! It's almost full yeah. twice for PGVD. I have flashbacks from my uh, mini getting spotted by one of the elite officers at uh, Marrakesh when I was trying to get the truck keys. <laughs> well, I, I like to be some dully head turns in this game, I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah. Yes, the famous yes, the people into Montgomery, I think that is. No, it isn't because he's not bald. Uh, uh, Chamberlain is the first one. Chamberlain, that's it. Uh, I, I need to learn my Berlin agents. <laughs> well, uh, as long as like you can differentiate some way. Uh, PG, so it wasn't the re report, uh, the weapon reporting for the for the man, no, the dealer, of course, but uh, he just <laughs> asked for some extra and uh, waited for the dealer to isolate himself. And uh, now he can get well, for the man as well, yeah. Yeah, so he has what? Uh, both for the man and the de dealer down. And you know, I was disguising these as the club crew. Uh, I, I think he has screw. I think he picked up the screwdriver, didn't he? From somewhere. Probably not, actually, I don't think. So, if not or yet. He maybe he hasn't, but if uh, he hasn't, then he will go through this door with uh, the yeah, SMG or the keycard and then bring it up along with the uh, agents pick up to the left of him. So you get the screwdriver from there. Yeah, now he should have. So it didn't pick up what was in the briefcase either way. Right? I think it should be the. I'm guessing it was in the loud assault rifle, but I have to guess, and I think. Okay, so it's uh, not, not bringing it anywhere else. I don't know, I can't remember. It will probably be the exit kill on uh, uh, Chamberlain, or like kill, hide, and exit to be exact. So, five and a half minutes, and uh, I think Thames is a very good possibility here, indeed, and Swan is cycling next to the this staff area, so we could see a distraction here. Bayum has five targets down in the um, in Rolf's office this time, he has managed to get it without uh, Piers Montgomery's guard not coming in, um, so he's managed to do that this time. He's going to get the club security disguise. Um, yeah, he's going to walk in, so yeah, he should be fine. He's time as well to knock out uh, Montgomery's guard, so I'm guessing we're going to... Him in the, being the club security disguise, I'm guessing we're going to see him drag one of the targets to that execution kill where we saw Pidgey do it. Mm -hmm. um, Pidgey actually did it with an EMP. It can be done, of course, with yeah. uh, no loadout, just with a screwdriver. But uh, Loadout allowed it, and uh, Pidgey gets the third kill, gets into Barton there, but it's not a required disguise. He might be just going for the flea crab crew in the yeah. changing room. <laughs> I'm never sure if you are allowed uh, through the guard, it's a bit random. Yeah, so we don't have uh, three kills down. I'm going to go get the scrap sword next, so uh, that'll be the more obvious route to go. Um... Of course, he has left the loud uh, assault rifle. I think that's what he brought in his briefcase. And deer in the uh, in the um, in the bottom floor. Um, so yeah, the I don't know who the scrap saw. We could see uh, the scrap saw even uh, be performed on. And uh, my one guess for that would probably be someone like a level four or someone in the bike oh, garage. Um, especially where the scrap sword is. Really. Yeah. But, Oh, we could see him take it to the roof, possibly. Um, yeah, I, I'm really curious about this one because, yeah, he's a bit stopped, but with the bullet distraction, he gets through. I think he needs one throw or even two, but it's not seen, so it's going to get a lot of progress done. I, 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 I think uh, possibly... Um... You know, getting green with the scrap sword and doing the band load to get him up. Um, and while band's coming up, you can either knock him out when he's coming up the stairs, on route to getting the loud assault rifle and dealer before um, getting banned that way. Um, 
That, that could be possible. Uh, he's going to be throwing Thames, actually, so might see me that kill be done on Thames. Yeah, so many combinations for these last two kills, especially with yeah. Chamberlain next to the <laughs> age, uh, the Soul Trifer. That was a really close head turn, I feel like. Yeah. And him getting the delivery uh, thing, we could see... Uh... Sorry. Uh, we, can, we could see one of the kills being done at the end on Thames and him escaping in the... Uh... Delivery, Chuck. Yeah, it all depends on if he stays here for the scrap sword kill or will he bring it down. I think that's the last decision he has to make. Oh, apologies, I'm just so focused on that. Uh, oh, he was the first kill, I'm, I'm sorry. Right? The. Or the second one with the execution. So he does need another kill, uh, then it was it made it made a lot of sense to go for the delivery guy to exit with after the loud kill as that was a hurt frontal KO or frontal kill but stopped in the tracks. Yeah that's a lot of sort of kill be interest of course green if you knock out the uh, one of the screw guys up there it can be it's a silent kill we move the house loud sort of I'm pretty sure and of course just simple just drop down the ladder and you should be there. Um, so yeah, there's lots of possibilities for Pidgey here, so he's going to go into lone full, uh, or... I think he's the whole number range downstairs. Um, so that could be who we see that could be performed on, possibly. Um, is the bathroom soundproof, so we could potentially get him in there, maybe? It is. It would be soundproof if he gets in there. Yeah, meanwhile, we're focusing on the Pidgey here. Uh, Fame has got the uh, kill uh, on to, I don't know what agent it was, but he has got the execution kills, club security. Hmm. Uh, that is his second or third kill, I can't quite tell looking at the... Two of three. Uh, up thing at this thing. Kill three, so yeah, he only needs two more. Has the screwdriver, so my guess would be he hasn't done the screwdriver kill in the level side, or, or the scrap sword kill. Um, or... So yeah, I mean two of five, so three to go. And yeah, so he needs yeah, his that'd... outside disguises as well, so it might take a bit longer. Pidgey gets the soul trifle, he really needs to this uh, finish in the next uh, minute or so because the Fenium is looming once again with the photo finish window. Yeah, Fenium soon as you often get the scrap soul and stuff, you know, Pidgey only needs the allow self of a self of kill, you know. I say only is allow kill, it can be uh, challenging to do, um, but. You know, I do think Pidgey should have this quite comfortably. You know, I don't want to be any uh, caster's curse here, but... Not a lot to do, uh, I agree. Yeah, but obviously you, you, it, it, is, it is not... A loud kill is definitely one of the harder... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's simple. It is, you can mess up a loud kill pretty uh, easily. It's nerve-wracking a bit, uh, I'm sure for them as well. And uh, so exciting for us because <laughs> this doesn't end when someone finishes, it's 30 more seconds to finish, and I think it's down to now the Loventhal cycles, and I think Pidgey is right for a peekaboo right here. I mean, yeah, if he killed him down here, you know, like he, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, he has the uh, bike exit right there as well, so, you know, he is close to an exit as well, if he, can, if he manages to peek Loventhal down here. Ooh, he's not looking towards Pidgey. No pickup just yet. But he, he does walk down here though. Obviously. He will eventually, yeah. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have the phone call here now. Oh, Pidgey has to replan. He's going for uh, uh, Agent Rhodes now. He's just one throw away. He could oh, lure him outside. It's going to be Tremaine then, yeah. Yeah, get Tremaine and oh, you can knock out both these guards. You know, Jack can't go straight up. He could. Uh, you could go up on the roof, since you can knock out um, Jermaine Jagger onto the roof and just go straight on the pipe, possibly, uh, in the bike in disguise. Uh, let's go escape in the bike, the delivery bike even. Yeah, these these two to, to pacify and, and drag him outside should do the trick. But Finny won 4 out of kill. 5. One more kill. Um, I think that is the Scrap Soldiers Club crew, I'm pretty certain. I haven't I seen the Scrap yeah, I haven't seen the scrap sword yet, but he's going for this guy's now. 
Oh no, he might have done scrub sword kill then. That might have been one of his first kills, that's why he's what 9 minutes 49 in, so... <laughs> he didn't have a kill until uh, 4 or 5 minutes, so around oh. 5, so it's, it's probably... Yeah. Get into combat! And that will arrange for the other guard. Oh my, and we might not just see fifth map, nor a photo finish. Part of it was getting stuck on the door. Part of it was just too, too close to Tremaine. And of course the head turns as well. Just a very unfortunate mix of events. Yeah, 12 minutes in as well. That's a hard rip to take. A Fanium, you know, it's not now some Fanium, you know, uh, getting the deal of the skies, and that's all he's going to need, really, um, before he can escape. Uh, of course, we saw Pidgey hanging off the Lalka, which we did say uh, would be simple, but I said we yeah, would cause problems, and it uh, appeared to have uh, did, so, you know. Fanium does have, that, does have the ledger of that soundproof room, though, uh, in the in Rolf's office. It's a great advantage of the Rolf Roar. Uh, just going to drag him to that side room. No explosion beforehand, yes. so it will stay close, definitely, and uh, it will be the last kill, and it's obviously uh, set up, or like, he planned in advance, so that the target would be really close by, in the room already, next to the AR. Fanium getting the third point, Just with all this. Just yeah, all the skies, and that should be Fanium, there's no forces to run into. Uh, he's already taking out the camera box, so yeah, he should be fine to escape, and that's going to be Fanium absolutely snatching Berlin. Um, in the edges of Pidgey's teeth there. Wow, if that rip didn't happen, where would Pidgey would be? be would that he would be? be yeah, <laughs> more than 30 seconds or less than that, or Fanium leading, we will never know. But what a match. <laughs> so much, yeah, so much back crazy. and forth and, and crazy, crazy finishes. Yeah, a free one truth does not do it justice. Um, you know, I think every map we saw them strategies, you know, and that's the ledger of the story. Even on Berlin, you know, we saw Rolf of Fame, we saw PG, do something completely different. Um, and when you have the four maps, two of them are two tires, one of them three tires, and you just see something different on every single one, that's the, the beauty of this um, tournament. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that was actually brilliant. And uh, we hope for many more of these. I think we can check on the brackets now. And we have seen now two quarterfinals and we have our first semi final, which is, well, the second one, but we, you know, the first one confirmed Fenium versus Blythe. The winner playing in the final, the loser in the third place match. Both are, well, for now, scheduled for Sunday, May the 1st, and we are hoping for uh, two back to back matches there. Which is, well, uh, 10 days away, but uh, so close yet so far. <laughs> yeah, Fanium vs. Blythe is going to be fantastic. You know, you have Blythe who won RR7 and Fanium, you know, uh, yeah, potentially he's just won S uh, speed one competition today, and you know, he is definitely one of the, the best controller players at the moment, I think, um, behind me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, it's going to be a great match. You know, it's going to be end to end. Now, why stuff that match definitely is going to be that. Uh, the reigning, oh, we will hype this match up a lot, but the reigning uh, speedrun comp champion against the reigning uh, R7 PC champion, but also the reigning bingo champion versus the co reigning uh, Team Red 3 champion. So, even Providence, they are two winners of only four. So, yeah, well, Fanium's winning it. Like, you know, he, he, won in, he won MC53 for console, you know, he, he just won the speed on competition, 10, he won bingo. Um, I know he's in the SA race final against me. You know, he, he's, he's doing well for himself at the moment. And hopefully, all that prize money will go towards the PS5 so we don't have them, <laughs> have them long uh, photo finishes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been giving him uh, those nice photo finishes, but of course. Uh, without uh, those loading times, he would be just finishing it off his opponent, so it's all good there. But yeah, that is one semi-final, and the other one will be, well, so far it's between five people. Mikula versus Chrome will play tomorrow, and Speedster versus some random person will also play then. Uh, it is a round one match to the other round two, and uh, the winner agrees there, and here is another confirmation that uh, these are all but the remaining matches, uh, one from round one, two from round two, the two semi-finals, and well, the two finals, of course, just one showing up there. 
but uh, yeah, we're nearing to the end now, and uh, we will have these matches a bit more spaced out, <laughs> obviously, than four a day on the first one day, first two days. But uh, I mean, as long as it's one match a day, if it's as good as this one, don't think we can comp complain a lot. Exactly, it's, it's gone so quick as well. You know, we, this this tournament scheduled for the final the next week. You know, we, I, I'm commonly we have the final play on on Sunday at the rate these games are going. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing. You know, the games are just fast paced, action packed stuff, and that's what truly makes the tournament special. Um, in terms of that, <laughs> yeah, it's it's great to be a part of, and uh, be the great watch so far. I. I think that's kind of what we can say for this one. Once again, thank you Joker J for joining me. No problem, man. Thank you Chris X3 for admining this one. Congratulations to Phanium and GG to PG as, PGR as well. And thank you everyone for watching and see you for the next two matches tomorrow. See you. Bye bye.